coming up next, I'm gonna give five fragrances that I'm recommending for the new year that you need to try. 2021 is wrapping up soon. These are fragrances that have just been released in the last you know, month or so, and they're ones that you need to get your nose on. Stay tuned to find out what they are next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose here from Osme Perfumery in beautiful Wynwood section of Miami. And as 2021 wraps up and the year is coming to a close, I wanted to actually answer a question that I got about a week ago during Scent Explore when I was on the panel with the fellow YouTube reviewers. One of the questions that came into the panel was, what are fragrances, what is one fragrance that you want to recommend or try for the upcoming year. So what I've decided to do was talk about five new fragrances that have just been released you know, in the last month or so that I recommend you get your nose on and try out as soon as possible. All right, so let's get right into this. No particular order. I'll just go right from the end here. And the first one I have here is Flam from Memo Paris. This is very interesting to me because when you smell it like this up against the initial smell to me is this kind of green herbaceous almost tomato leaf almost like irish leather no i'm sorry italian leather not irish leather those are two other fragrances by this house um the french niche house memo this one though immediately that smell once it goes on the skin it becomes more of this sensual uh, can still smell it now. I just love this fragrance. It, it becomes much more sensual. You've got cedar in there again, which gives it the kind of skin smell. And it's just one of, I gotta say, from the last two years, I think this is my favorite release from Memo Paris in the last two or so years. And they come out with fragrances pretty regularly. So I smelled them all. This one to me is their, my favorite. Next, brand new, hot off the presses. This literally just came into the store today here at Osme Perfumery. And this is Ceramic from Andrea Mack. Oh man, I have Craft. I have X Entrance, which was their latest release about six months ago. This one is totally different, but yet similar. So for me, her fragrances have a DNA. That DNA is this wonderful smell, again, of sensuality, of skin, of somehow, just encapsulating that sexy smell of skin that drives other human beings crazy when they smell beautiful skin, right? So this one just came out, I can tell you, it's gonna be a hit. It's got this white kind of floral muskiness to it uh, and totally different from the other fragrances, but yet there's a DNA running through Andrea Mack, which is really cool. You can get that sensual, that sexiness, but it's almost like a metallic, white floral musk, mm. you know, I'll learn a lot more about it as it goes along, I'll, I'll full, do a full review later, but I can already tell this has gotta be one on your to smell list. Next, also just released, and this is from, of course, the house of Elisire, Elisire, and this is, make sure I have it right there, Extrait Noir. You've seen me talk about Desired, from LSIR, it's one of my all-time favorite fragrances. These are extrates. These are so super concentrated. They are 30 ml bottles, but oh so beast mode. This fragrance, when you smell it, it's like wow. It's, I mean, leather, it's dark, it's rich, it's sexy, it's mysterious. It's like, if you wanna be the guy walking to the room at the bar, at a club, or an event where everyone's talking about you and you walk by and they catch your trail, your scent trail, and they smell this, you are going to leave people discussing you and saying, who is that guy? That's that, this is that type of fragrance. Just came out this week in here in Osme. Again, smell it, get your nose on it right away. It's beautiful. All right, go to my number four choice. And this is from the American Niche House um, Imaginary Authors. And this is 
make sure you guys can see it there. Yeah, you can see it right. Box in the flower bed. Also a new release, came out in the last month or so. I love this house because this is an affordable niche house for those of you looking to maybe get started in the niche world. Or if you're a true niche head, great niche brand, right? So you get a, basically a, what is this? I think it's a, is this is a 50 ml bottle, Maurice, these bottles? Yes. Yeah, 50 ml bottles for under $100. I mean, where else can you find that in the niche world? So you're getting a top quality fragrance and they always do something unique. Everything is, is very unique. They always have one of the notes in their fragrance is like some descriptive word. So like in this one, for example, let me get my glasses because I can't read. So it lists jasmine, tulips, frankincense, wildflower honey, pink peppercorns, silver thistle, and the final note, alpine air. Alpine air, I love it, and it does. This is, to me, a sexy jasmine fragrance. I quickly talked about this one a few weeks ago, but I've toyed around with making my own fragrances. I've used jasmine. The minute I smelled this, I knew jasmine was in it even before I looked at the notes because jasmine, a lot of times, has very heavy with an element called indoles. Indoles are an element in a lot of white flowers, natural element, especially jasmine, that give this very animalic smell. So, so some people will smell it and confuse it with musk or even castorium from the beaver or, you know, sometimes even more like an ambergris, but it's not. It's actually a kind of very sexy animalic jasmine, and this has it. It's not overly animalic, but you definitely get that smell. And beautiful, beautiful smell. Lastly, we'll go with, make sure I have the right bottle. I did pick up the wrong one. Yes, I did pick up the right bottle. Another one just released from Amouage. Talked about this one the other day. Reflection Man 45. You know, this is, reflection. if Reflection Man is a 10, this is a 12 as far as amped up. Uh, it's 45, meaning that is the concentra concentration of the perfume. So 45% of this is perfume oil, only 55% alcohol. Give you an example, a typical eau de parfum, maybe 20%, even lower sometimes, 18% perfume, uh, you know, the perfume oil. This is 45%. It's also been macerated for over four months before they release it. So this has really had a chance to meld together, to blend together, and to get really strong before they put it out for sale. To me, again, Reflection Man is one of the Amouage fragrances, the original one. It's a little bit of a lighter fragrance for them. Although still strong, it's a little bit of a lighter considering most of their fragrances are very strong and very intense. This is Reflection Man amped up. If you haven't tried it, it's more expensive. as You're going to spend close to $500, but it's something that's going to last you probably for most of your life if, if you use it just on a normal basis. So... All right, there you have it. My five fragrances that you need to try going into 2022. Get your nose on them. Let me know if you already have. Uh, let me know what you think. Get, here's some comments. I love your guys' commentary. I read everything. Thank you guys for participating. I love the interaction and I love the dialogue. Thank you for your support. Thank you for, of course, subscribing if you've already done it. If not, I would ask that you consider subscribing because, of course, I appreciate the support. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.